Welcome back. This is Danger Close Customs. Some of you guys posted comments about wanting to see these PCCs in action. So I shot a little bit of video of me shooting these with different magazines, show you how they run. So make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I answer comments and I will definitely try to put the videos out you want to see. First up, we have the Grand Power Strybog with the Lingle Industries CZ Scorpion magazine lower. Don't need to worry about the accuracy and hitting targets. I was shooting at several different targets, uh, different sizes at different ranges here. And my optics haven't been tuned in yet. I was just trying to show how the magazines were running. Also tried to leave in a couple of segments where you see me load a mag and then you see me drop the bolt home to load it. The bolt hold open feature functioned perfectly. This is not a malfunction on this one, it's just the magazine wasn't fully loaded. I shot a couple rounds and it went empty. Next we got the Palmetto State Armory AKV. The AKV is a little bit heavier, but it makes it also more stable when you're shooting it. And this gun is a pleasure to shoot. It worked flawlessly. Um, all the magazines, including the Manticore magazine that in my first video I reported didn't fit. I shot Manticore magazine through this, no problem. Next up is the CZ Scorpion Micro. The Micro Scorpion, a little bit smaller and lighter, uh, definitely has great ergonomics, good feel to it, and it shot flawlessly as well. All right, last but not least is the B&T GHM-9. This one uh, initially had some problems. It would jam and shoot only one round. You take the mag out and rounds weren't uh, ejecting and loading properly. So I contacted um, both B&T and Lingle Industries and got some uh, help. I tore apart the gun and saw that uh, there's some rough uh, marks here. Uh, on the upper and on the trigger itself, there, there's a couple of steps, uh, just a rough military style AR trigger that I put in there. So they recommended I run the B&T original lower on there to try it out and make sure that the gun itself was working. And I did that and it worked. Customer service at Lingle Industries and B&T were both excellent and they were shocked to hear this. They had not heard of this problem before. We were able to boil it down to a trigger issue. So I polished it up and after that, it worked perfectly. The original surface on the trigger was a little bit rough with those steps. It was catching on the bolt, causing a malfunction. I was only able to run it with the Manticore and the P-Mag because I forgot the other mags on the second trip. But the Manticore is the thicker between the two and the P-Mag is the loosest one. So considering the two far ends of the spectrum were both able to shoot, I'm sure the other magazines in the middle uh, would also work fine. Can I get a hell yeah? Got everything working. I don't have to send this back. So excited. 
Scorpion Killer, it's not, but it's a very nice gun. Do like the way it handles. I like the receiver. It's slimmer. It's all metal there. So definitely happy with the GHM9. And here we're looking at a scorpion and a crawdad. You would think that one of these would kill the other, but the video goes on for quite some time and they mostly just do some Wing Chun hand fighting and some Brazilian Jiu Jitsu rolling around. At the end of the video, they are both still alive. Well, some of them are. Uh, not the crawfish so much. I'm showing you here, it's a uh, Chinese New Year and Vietnamese New Year this week. I took it upon myself to enjoy some uh, scorpions cousins here, the crawfish or crawdads. Uh, this is cooked up in a uh, Tom Yum sauce, which is like lemongrass and chili peppers. And you pull the tail off and suck the juice and the guts out of the inside of the body. And you twist off the end of the tail and the shell will pop off. And then you'll have a mini little lobster tail. Sometimes they call them langostinos. Uh, takes quite a lot of these to fill up. I ate about four or five plates worth, um, as you've seen in the picture. But it's delicious, and I highly recommend you guys try some of these little lobsters. So I want to wish everybody a happy Lunar New Year. Remember to like and subscribe. And also leave me a comment on other guns or questions about these ones. I've been answering all the comments. I made this video in response to specific requests in the comment section. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. As much as I enjoy killing five plates of these crawfish. Mm -mm -mm. That's some good eating. Thanks for watching. Danger close.